part time PhD recognized in India. Will I get a job after part time PhD? Is part time PhD considered as a regular PhD or is it a distance learning program? From where can I do a part time PhD? What qualifications are required? To answer all these questions and much more about part time PhD, I am here, your one and only PhD coach, mentor, and guide, Dr. Ritika. By now, you must have guessed that today we are going to talk about part time PhD. And we are going to create two videos on this topic. In the first video, that is this current video, I'm going to tell you the meaning of part time PhD, from where can you pursue it, what qualifications are required, and what types of part time PhD are there. In the next video, we are going to discuss that million dollar question. Is part time PhD a regular PhD or is it similar to a distance learning program? So let us start today's video. But before we do that, let me request each one of you watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos and ask us questions in the comment section below. Okay, so uh, as per UGC regulations, 2016 and draft regulations of 2022. In case you do not know what are these draft regulations of 2022, we are sharing the links of our three previous videos with you in the I above and also in the description box below. You can watch them and if you have any questions, you can always ask me. Okay. So, uh, as I was saying that the UGC regulations have given two modes to pursue PhD in India. The first is a full-time mode. Any student deciding to pursue PhD through the full-time mode is called a full-time scholar. And as the name suggests, these are those students who want to dedicate the entire focus on doing a PhD at that particular time without uh, taking up any additional uh, job or any other course. So these full-time scholars are expected to either stay in the university or visit the university or the institute from where they are pursuing the PhD uh, very regularly. Also, these full-time scholars have to take up many other additional tasks in the university besides their regular PhD work. But our focus of today's video is not full-time PhD. We would be definitely talking about full-time PhD as well, but in some other video. So it takes around four to five years to do your PhD on an average. And UGC realized that it is not possible for everyone to give up their careers, to give up their jobs for such a long period of time. And so for those people who wanted to work and at the same time, pursue their PhD as well. For such people, UGC came out with the provision of part-time PhD. So who can pursue a part-time PhD in India? Anybody who's working, anybody who is working as a regular employee in a recognized organization can pursue a part-time PhD in India. It is not at all necessary that you need to be from the academia you could be from the industry, you could be working in an MNC, you could be a government employee, central or state, you could be having your own business or could be a practicing CA or a lawyer. Each one of you who is pursuing a regular employment can do a part-time PhD in India. So from where can you pursue this part-time PhD? Now, uh, as a PhD coach, as a PhD mentor, I have had the opportunity to guide many students regarding the most suitable universities or institution of national importance where they can apply for a PhD depending on each student's life goals and their requirements and their qualification. And obviously to ensure that I guide each and every one as per their requirements exactly, I had to go through the regulations of almost, I have gone through the regulations of almost 1000 plus universities and institute of national importance. And with great certainty, therefore, I can tell you that almost 90 to 95% universities and 80 to 85% of institute of national importance do provide a part-time program. 
yes it is a possibility that the institute of national importance do not offer it as a part time program and might call it as an executive phd but name whatever be the concept is the same so uh, coming to the next question do you require an experience to pursue a part time phd here again there is a difference in the regulations of your universities whether it is a state central deemed or private university and the institution of national importance so normally the universities do not ask for any experience however the institute of national importance like your iit and iit and iims not all of them but yes some of them do ask for a few years of experience before you can pursue a part time phd from these institute of national importance but yes majorly most of the universities and institute of national importance do not require any experience and even a fresher who's just joined their job can simultaneously apply for a phd as well okay now coming to the last part of this video what type of part time phds are there so there are two kinds of part time phd one is an internal part time phd and the other one is an external part time phd when you decide to pursue your phd from the same institute from the same university where you are working then you will be ca called as an internal part time scholar if you decide to pursue your phd from another university so you are working in one organization and you pursue a phd from another university you are called an external part time scholar so obviously majority universities have external part time scholars only this is all about the basics of part time phd i hope you do like our video find it informative if you do then put your comments in the section below ask us questions related to phd and we will love to answer them in one of our videos in future This is Dr. Ritika Gaba, the founder of Zenith PhD Training and Consultancy, and I am here to empower each one of you with more and more knowledge. Thank you for watching my video.